Hello, my name is Cameron Weddle, and I will be introducing El The Burial of Count Orgaz by El Greco. This is my audience, and let's get started. Alright. Oh. This is the piece. The, this uh, artwork was in, created in 1586 by Dominicus Theotokopoulos, or also known as El Greco. He was a philosopher, a painter, and considered to be very noble. He painted in the mannerist style, and he was a native of Crete, which is a island of Greece. It was the biggest and most popular island. And he lived most of his life in Venice, which is northeast of Italy. Mannerism. It is a style that veered to an anti-humanistic view of the world. It is based on a self-conscious or the manner. This style consisted of uneasy positions of the body or clashing of colors and unreal themes. Also the combination of classical, religious, and mythical beliefs. The burial came about through a contract between El Greco and the Santo Tome Church. Um, it covered the entire wall behind the altar. Um, this piece was to give the viewer an understanding of the nobility of Orgaz. Um, his actual name also was Don Gonzalo. Uh, it, was cre it was created on a large canvas using oil-based paint. His techniques consisted of action, distorted figures, and shocking color that are all manneristic, mannerist characteristics. He used sharp lines and luminous color to direct the attention of the viewer upward. The upper scene immortalizes the people that were actually at the funeral in the lower scene. The middle area portrays perfect geomet geometrically ordered scene which is important in drawing the both scenes together into one piece, one artwork. This masterpiece was is still today compared to El Greco's similar was and still is today compared to El Greco's similar works and paintings around the world. The burial's religious base exemplifies the counter reformation and mythical sp spirituality with which El Greco's name is often associated with. Since El Greco includes, included noblemen of Toledo, this was a prideful work of the Santo Tome Church and the people of Toledo. El Greco did not gain any royal power with the Marty Dom of St. Maurice that was denied by Philip II. He returned after this work and cre to Toledo and created the burial masterpiece which he gained many commissions afterwards. The original meaning of what made this artwork famous in its time was the priest looking upward and the boy to the left pointing at the priest. The actions performed by the boy and the, pri and the priest do direct the attention upward. This also is, has a critical uh, spiritual meaning even today as we think of heaven as being upward. Like Michelangelo, Greco has taken a very hard compositional problem and gave a bold, comprehensive situation. Both artists used religious scenes, well-known religious scenes, to direct the attention of the main subjects using color and the stature of the surrounding subjects or people. Um, El Greco's uh, paintings directly relate to the man manner of style, such as the Trinity. Um, this is a this is a uh, picture of the Trinity, which you can see that the facial expressions are not uneasy, and the instability of the posture. He was informed on many details about how the bur burial was created, um, which would have been a very hard task for its time. Um, this is probably this is why he created two scenes. Um, the pr people never grew tired of the artwork just because it was a lot of uh, noble people of Toledo that were seen in the in the portrait.
The bottom scene is portrayed through vertical and horizontal lines that show a significant truth about the funeral, while the upper scene shows elongated figures with limitless clouds that display neither scale or mass to show how far the spirit must travel into the heaven. Um, the lower scene gives a religious due to everyone directing their attention around or gas, while the, the boy on the left and the priest are looking upward. Although a religious scene is being portrayed, the statue of the stature of Orgaz is very uneasy. You can tell he's just pretty much limp. Um, he has no um, strength in his posture, which this is a mannerist, mannerist uh, characteristic. He also uses dark colors, which is another characteristic to represent the instability. And this is a this is a picture of the of the. Uh, Heaven, which also represents the uh, mannerist uh, style due to the dark and lights used. And I'll show you my crowd again. And thanks for watching.